Hi, Matt Watson here from Carway. So I'm sat in an Audi TTS, next to me is a Porsche Cayman, and next to that is a big American pickup truck. And we're gonna have a drag race, which seems a bit weird, but I wanna answer the question, what is quickest over the stunning quarter mile? A sports car or some huge three-ton truck? But it's not any three-ton truck, more on that in a minute. So this Audi, it has a two-litre four-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine, which puts out 320 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. It drives all four wheels via a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. This car weighs in at 1,000. 420 kilos. Just like this Audi, the Porsche has a two litre four cylinder turbocharged petrol engine, though its pistons go that way rather than that way. It's a flat four. And it puts out 300 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque. It has a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox, but it drives the rear wheels only. And it's a bit lighter than this Audi, it weighs in at 1,365 kilos. The price of the Audi and the Porsche are identical though, at 47,000 pounds. And together, they cost less than that big pickup truck because it's just not a normal Dodge Ram, it's a Hennessy mammoth so hennessy have taken the car and tuned it up so now it's 6.2 liter supercharged v8 puts out 1026 horsepower and 1314 newton meters of torque drives all four wheels via an eight speed automatic gearbox with a torque converter and launch control it's an expensive thing though that hennessy if you want one imported to the uk it will cost you 122 thousand pounds now if you want to see these stats side by side so you can pair the cars just pause the video now Right, now you've done that, if you haven't done so already and you've been watching for a while, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon, that way you won't miss any of our drag races. Let's get on with the racing. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now before I race, I'm gonna do the obligatory car wow sound check. So I'm gonna rev up this Audi. Yeah, they're enough to make you go soft. Way around it is to go to launch control mode. Sounds a bit better though, a bit more vibey. Right, let's have a listen to the Porsche. Go on, rev up the Porsche. Do you know what? A lot of people complained about the fact that the entry level Cayman has a turbocharged four cylinder rather than the old six cylinder. Actually sounds all right. Well, it does when you compare it to the four cylinder in this Audi. What we need is four more cylinders. So let's have a listen now to the V8 in the Hennessy. Hey Sam, how are you? I'm very well, Matt, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Um, can you do me a favour, please, and let us hear that beautiful supercharged V8. Soft limiter. How did Hennessy allow that? Right, you're tuning the car, take the soft limiter off. Is it some kind of rule and regulation? I don't know, I'm gonna start a campaign for that. Take the soft limiter off. And get t-shirts and stuff like that. It's not the catchiest slogan, is it? Anyway, if you want to find out how much your car is really worth, click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description below. Just upload some photos, give a brief description. Then all the car wire dealers across the UK will bid on your car. Not all of them, but those who are interested will bid on your car and then you'll be able to know how much you could sell it for. If you want to sell it, just pick the highest bid and they'll come to your house, take your car away and put the money straight into your account. It's that easy and it's completely free and there's no obligation to sell if you just want to do a bit of like research on the value of your car. Anyway, if you want to do that at a later date, just simply Google help me car wow and we will help you find out the value of your car. We'll also help you get your new car as well and make sure you're paying a fair price for it. Blah, blah, blah. You know the stuff. Now let's race. No way can these sports cars get beaten by that big pickup truck. Absolutely no way. Can't happen. Might happen. We're ahead of the Hennessy. <laughs> Come on, Audi. It's going to be neck and neck on the line. He'd have thought that in a drag race between a Porsche, an Audi, some big American pickup truck, the Porsche would lose. I think I've got the least power, so that's what I've said about. So, Sam, do you reckon he beat me on the line? I'm not sure, it's so close. No, I didn't have the best of starts either, but I think it was pretty close. But this is just ridiculous, isn't it? It's like driving a house. Do you reckon we should have another go for a decider, because that was just so close? Absolutely. Cheated. Got a good launch in the Porsche. Come on. I 
I gave you another go, Sam. You squandered it. Well, if people are going to be immoral and cheat in bright yellow Porsches, then it's going to look a bit worse than it was. Can we have a steward's inquiry? Did the Porsche jump? The Porsche did not jump. I'd like to appeal, actually. Can I have another go then? Okay, last go, seriously. Three, two, one. Oh, that's better. Did he win in the Mammoth? Yes, he won in the Mammoth. Did the Porsche beat me as well? It was so close to the line. Okay, we'll just leave it there. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Hennessy won, completing the standing quarter mile in 12.6 seconds. The Porsche and the Audi both finished in 12.7 seconds, but it was the Porsche that just put the Audi on the line. Now we're going for a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are in there just comfort setting, the most relaxed setting for driving on the road and automatic modes for the gearbox. I'm going to count it in now. Three, two, one, go. Porsche took off the best. Going to be able to reel it in over the half mile. And the Hennessy is ahead of me as well. Can I catch that? No. I think that is what it is. This car took a while to change down when it was in comfort mode, whereas the Porsche seemed to be much better. It is when it goes before you say go. Just, just saying. I don't think I went before you said go. Do you know what, actually, Sam? To tell you the truth, you made the wrong call when it was about him jumping. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. You're just so competitive. You don't like losing that you like to just, I don't know, try to get your competitors disqualified. That's bad sportsmanship. Let's move on and not talk about it anymore. And I'm going to keep my finger on this button here so you can't actually talk over me and like... <laughs> have a right to reply. Let's move on, yes. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing again, a rolling race. Starting from 50 miles an hour. This time they had the cars in their sportiest setting and manual mode for their gearboxes. Everyone get level. I'm going to count it in now. Three, two, one, go. Now the Hennessy is coming past the Porsche. This Audi might hold on. Come on out. Oh, the push is coming now. I think that race turned out to be rather a lot to do with aerodynamics because I went off first, but then the Porsche started reeling me in because it's clearly a bit more slippery than this. And the Mammoth came last because it's about as aerodynamic as a parachute. Yeah, I don't know, is it air or a limiter, but this just starts to slow down at about 114. Porsche, do you think you were going to catch me if you had a bit more room? I'm pulling you in now. I think I would have had you with a little bit more room on that one. Now you're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. If you'd rather watch a drag race with that Hennessy against another car, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. If not, stay with me for this brake test. Here comes a line, full emergency stop coming up. Okay, so quite clear loser there. Obviously, you're on off-road tyres with knobbly bits on them, not great for braking, but how many car lengths do you reckon that is? Normal car lengths, not Hennessy Mammoth car lengths, which is almost six metres. I don't know. It's more than the highway code would suggest, I think. That's <laughs> a long way. This was not slowing down. There's a lot of weight, and the tyres aren't made for braking unless you are off-road. Brakes on Porsches, they're brilliant. Fantastic. Great performance. It's a win for the Porsche, isn't it? Look at that. Now, if you'd like to see how much money you can save on an Audi TTS through CarWow, Click on the pop-out banner up there, follow the link in the description below. You might be quite interested in it. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know which of these three vehicles you would like to own most in the comments below, obviously. Click on those windows there to watch some more videos and on that box there to sell your car through CarWow. You can find out how much your car is really worth. It's completely free and there's no obligation to sell if you don't want to. Thanks for watching.